Welcome everybody. It's been several months since my last video and I thought I'd kick things off with a uh, LXDE video series where I will take a look at um, some popular LXDE desktop environment based distributions and uh, compare and contrast the uh, user interface and, and what they provide to their uh, audience. So I'll be looking at Lubuntu 15.10, uh, Peppermint 6, and the latest version of watOS. I might even throw in a few other ones later on. This is my current um, uptime and um, RAM usage. You can see that my system specs are, are working out very well. My fan isn't even running. Yeah, it's running very lightly. So um, even with this video recording, it's, it's, it's running very smooth. Here's a screen grab of uh, the system resources upon boot. 281 megabytes of uh, RAM. All right, got two desktops going on. Let's bring up Internet Explorer. I wanted to show the Lubuntu website here. They suggest that you have about 512 megabytes of RAM, a system within the last 10 years, built within the last 10 years. And uh, I think uh, one gigabyte is actually a pretty good way to go. I've uh, got Lubuntu installed on my netbook, and it, it's even pretty snappy on that old thing, with uh, which is a six-year-old netbook. This is a, a three-and-a-half-year-old uh, System76 Lemur Ultra with an SSD, so it's uh, considerably faster. But even that netbook runs pretty quick, considering. Let's open up some applications to, so you can see the uh, how quickly things will come up. It's taking me far longer to go through the menus than it is to actually um, wait for the program. So pretty much instantaneous. Audacity and uh, Kazam I added later. This is not a core application. So you can see that uh, Audacity does take a little bit longer to load. But the idea behind this project is to uh, have lightweight applications to make a slower or older computer uh, useful. And in the case of a six-year-old netbook, I, I do run Lubuntu on it, and it's extremely quick. Uh, nothing super fancy here. System tools. Uh, the one standout would be the Lubuntu Software Center. This was their take on um, creating a software center that was easy to use and very straightforward. So if, let's say, for instance, you wanted to add Chrome, Chromium. Uh, why didn't OK, Garen, uh, oh, I was sorry. I was searching the installed software. So it's actually pretty quick to uh, find what you uh, what you have, as well as uh, new applications you can add later. That's pretty much it. So during this series, I'm going to be comparing Lubuntu to watOS, um, their latest release, and Peppermint uh, 6, which is the Peppermint Project's uh, latest release. And you'll see the differences between the three systems and uh, what they provide to, uh, to their users as a variation of the uh, typical LXDE environment and uh, why they would uh, you know, create so many distributions based off of uh, the same core or actually I think uh, watOS might be on Debian. They keep switching back and forth, so we'll know in that video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. That is the wrong panel. <laughs> Later.